guys, so today I'm going to show you how we took a plain children's table from Ikea and turned it into a fun chalkboard drawing table. If you're not already subscribed, please do so for more easy DIYs and fun family vlogs. This is the table that we used, um, that we purchased for Ikea for like $20. And this is the Rust-Oleum paint, we used it a satin finish in French lilac color. While we were at Home Depot, on our little secret trip for this DIY, we purchased a handle for the spray can and it made spraying so much easier and not as painful on your hand. Okay, let's go over the mower. As you guys could see, Maddie was all sweaty. It was hot, hot, hot outside. Um, we live in Southeast Texas and it was ridiculous this past weekend. It was literally 97 degrees. There you go. You can see it. Um, <laughs> it was really hot. So now we're taking this Valspar black chalkboard paint and stirring it up really well. We forgot to give the top of the table a good sanding to rough up the surface. Um, but we didn't have too much of an issue. It just took quite a few coats of paint to get a good solid surface. My husband had to do this, Jared had to do this because it was nap time and I was inside with the baby. Same day, but after nap time, I had changed my clothes because this was a lot cooler. And I'm finishing spraying the other side of the um, of the table. And Maddie comes and joins me over in the little corner. She's talking and pointing. She really wants to get into the paint. I wasn't too worried about spray painting the inside edges where they would, where the wood would touch itself. I also wasn't too worried about spraying the bottoms of the legs of the table or chairs. Uh, the instructions for the table are really simple. I'm not really sure why people complain so much about IKEA furniture. It was really easy to put together until Maddie wanted to get involved. throwing a tantrum because she didn't want the little the tabletop to go in because she was having fun walking back and forth through the table so she had a tantrum and we tried to console her but it was no use so we sent her off to her grandmother or as she likes to be called Nona and we finished putting the table together slowly but surely I'm behind the camera reading off the instructions and Jared is being patient with me. <laughs> now it's time that we put the chairs together. It pretty much goes the same as the table did. We didn't paint the seats of the chairs because later on, once I find some fabric that I like, I will be upholstering the seats of the chairs. But for now, the white looks nice. It's probably easier to clean up with a toddler anyways. Putting together the second chair. And here's the finished table. As you can see, there's a little white spot where the paint kind of chipped off a little bit from not sanding it, but we'll fix that a little bit later. Um, Maddie really enjoyed it. She started coloring on it before I could get a good shot or picture of it completely clean. <laughs> um, 
it didn't wipe off so well with a paper towel or our hands like it would on a really smooth chalkboard surface um, but a wipe was able or a damp paper towel a wipe or a damp paper towel was able to completely clean it off without leaving any marks. I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy DIY. Go ahead and check out my other videos on my channel and don't, for don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's free and I would love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye bye.